I'm going to tell you what I feed my pigs. I'm not gonna get into quantities because every pig is different. No two pigs of mine eat the same amount of food, but they all eat generally the same food. This diet plan might not be right for everybody's pigs. You may disagree with some of the choices that I've made for mine. It works well for them. I've been doing it for years. They're happy, they're healthy. Everybody has varying opinions on what's best for their pigs, just like with children, I suppose. So if you don't like some of these options, just don't feed them to your pig. I personally don't give pellets at this point if I can help it. I have some days where that's just what I have to do. And so I always make sure to keep mini pig pellets on hand. I use the Missouri brand. I transitioned a few years ago to more of a natural diet for my pigs, and I've really liked the way that it makes them look and feel. Having said that, I'm going to insert a picture. Again, I've shared this before, but I feel like I can't share it enough. This is the body score for pigs. So you want to keep yours in the ideal range. Do not underfeed, do not overfeed. All right, having said all of that, this is what my pigs eat. I don't give many fruits, they're really high in sugar, but they do get a banana in the morning. The adult pigs will get the peel and all. The younger pigs will just get the fruit. And then for the really young piglets, I will even mash it up some. Again, it varies. Some get an entire banana, some get half a banana. But that's how they start their day. If I don't have a banana on hand, or if we're traveling, whatever the case may be, I always keep the fruit pouches. These are made for children, for humans. I just try to be selective about the ingredients. It's not as good as the fresh banana, but sometimes we make do. So I always keep these. I like to give a hard boiled egg a couple of times a week. Of course, I use my own chickens eggs. It's good for them. It's an extra source of protein. I don't do it every day, but again, a couple times a week. Vegetables, staple in their diet. No matter what you're doing, if it's the pellets or the whole grains, they need a lot of vegetables and a variety of them, especially for those pigs that aren't getting outside regularly to forage and get the vitamins and iron and everything that they would, make sure you keep a huge selection of vegetables. So this is just a few kind of a sampling of what they would be getting. Um, I mix it up, I add takeaway, seasonal veggies, all of that. There are some that are not good for your pig. Avocados, onions, to name a few. Tomatoes, I don't give too many. I've heard some people say that it kind of upsets their pig's stomach, but I will give a couple of cherry tomatoes now and then. Broccoli, I will warn you, they love it. It's great for them, but it gives them broccoli farts. Carrots, cucumbers. Uh, this is a really good choice for younger pigs because cucumbers are softer and easier for them to chew. I don't know why this one is so small. I like to do kind of heavier, more filling vegetables. So usually there's zucchini or butternut squash, acorn squash, Spaghetti squash is what's on the menu this week, along with eggplant. And then every day, uh, regardless of what other vegetables I've mixed in, I make sure to give them some kind of leafy green. I stay away from iceberg lettuce. There's not really much nutritional value in it. They like to eat it, but it serves no purpose. So I usually do the spring mix. Again, they can have basically all of this that they want. For the vegetables, I like to puree them or cut them up really small for the babies. Normally they're kind of reluctant at first to start eating vegetables. They don't taste as good or smell as good, especially coming from like mom's milk and transitioning into them. So it can take a little coaxing, a little patience. Again, making it really soft like that does seem to help. For their whole grains or carb starches, this is where you would do the pellets if you're using them. Since I don't, or I try not to, this is what I give. Brown rice is great, whole grain, um, or whole wheat pasta. Basically stay away from the, the white rice, the white flour pastas. And actually with the pasta, um, they'll even eat it uncooked just as a treat. Oatmeal. For the younger pigs, I usually do either baby rice cereal or uh, this is baby oatmeal. With their dinner, I will either mix in some wheat germ oil or coconut oil. I will also give a chewable Flintstone vitamin definitely consult your vet before giving anything like that. The quantity that I give varies based on pig. So you don't want to just give your piglet 
a full Flintstone vitamin that might not be the right size for them. Talk with your vet. There are also uh, some other vitamins that certain pigs of mine get. Vitamin E is really important. Iron is really important. So some of my rescues, when they are clearly deficient in these things, the vet will go ahead and recommend that I give them. So consult with your vet to make sure that you are meeting all of their nutritional needs. For treats and snacks, Normally I try to stay away from them. It's hard because pigs are cute and pigs are really good at begging. But in my experience, the more treats that you give your pig, the more it's going to see you as just the treat source. And it's gonna get bossier, it's going to demand food all the time. So I limit it, but I do like to keep raw almonds or raisins for treats. Again, I can't emphasize enough, this is just what I give my pigs. It works great for them. It could be a, a starting point, a baseline for your personal pig if you don't really have a lot of information, don't know where to start. But I definitely suggest consulting a vet, doing your research. The AMPA, the American Mini Pig Association, has a lot of great information regarding natural diets and what pigs need. Cannot tell you how much to feed your pig. There is just no universal standard guideline that applies to all pigs. If you have any other questions, please leave them below. I love hearing from everybody. I love meeting other animal and pig lovers. Sadly, I just realized this is a pig video without any pigs in it. I'm so sorry. <laughs>